Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to your 30th Java GUI tutorial, and it's a continuation of the 29th, which was on um, this timer program. So, we just got done finishing up the um, action perform method for the button when we click it. So, now we're going to go ahead and do the action perform method for the timer itself. So, public class, and then whatever you named it here, I called mine time class. And then it's going to implement action listener. And then, you know, normally we would uh, just go right ahead and type in the action over method. But actually, we need to declare another in, and we're just going to call it counter again. And yeah. And then, now do your. Uh, and now, we actually have to make, create a constructor for the time class class and then what this is going to do is it's going to take the um, count parameter we pass in and create set it equal to this counter variable that we um, declared here so it's pretty confusing I mean it took me a while to kind of understand what's going on but I mean just do it and just know that all it does is it takes whatever you pass into here and it just stores it into this counter variable basically so and then int counter and then type in this dot counter and that's going to equal to counter I know it's pretty confusing and but just do it alright and now the stuff that you know by now is the action perform method and I'll just call it whatever I called it up here just so I can kind of keep track Right now, what do we want to happen? Well, this um, action perform method is going to get fired off every time our timer um, changes or updates, and that's every one second. So we want to take the counter and de decrement it or decrement whatever um, instead of increment because if they start at 20, we don't want to go all like 21, 22. We want to go 19, 18, 17, 16 etc down to um, 1 so normally we'd probably type in um, plus um, plus plus but in Java you can also type in minus minus and it's just it decrements it so that's pretty cool now we're just gonna set the uh, label to be whatever it is so if do a little uh, logical if statement if the counter is greater than or equal to 1 so if it's one or higher, um, we want it to say timer label set text time left and then counter and then else. So that means it's either like it's, that means it's done. So else timer and then stop the timer. Um, set your label to say something else. So like you can make it say whatever you want. I'll say done and then this is optional I suppose but make it make a nice little beeping sound so you got we did this earlier in another program I think but you just get the default toolkit and then dot beep alright so I think I'll go over this one more time alright um, first thing you do we decrement the counter um, int um, then we just I mean, this stuff is pretty easy, I suppose. If the counter is greater than or equal to 1, that means it's still going. Just update the label every time. Else, um, it's done, so we stop it. We say done, and we emit a little beeping sound. Alright? Now, I'll do the easiest part. Alright. I don't know if the pack is gonna work very good. Eh, pretty good. Alright. 
Here it is. Uh, I'm actually make it a little wider. Oh. Sorry, I, I never, I haven't written this program yet, so I'm just trying to. All right, this should work. So, we'll enter the seconds. Uh, we'll do five. Start timing. Four, three, two, one. Done. And you couldn't hear it, but it made a little sound. I mean, and it just says done. It stops the timer counting, and nothing else happens. And then, if you want, you can do it again. You can try ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blah, blah, done. Alright, now I want to show you something else. So, say I wanted to do like every tenth of a second, I would just type in 100 here. And now it's going to go like ten, nine, 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 really fast. See that? It only takes one second to do all those because every tenth of a second, the, um, it fired off a new event. So now, oh, I don't want to do that, but. So, hope you figured out how this works. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment and hope you enjoyed.